This video should, one, tell you why I've been taking ridiculously long to upload new guitar build videos and why it's kind of all gone wrong. Two, show you some of the new processes I'm using to build my guitar necks. And three, showing you some tips on how to build a guitar as well as still trying to make an entertaining video. Here are the neck dimensions that I follow. And first, to see if I can build two guitar necks out of this one piece of wood, I need to build a cutting template, which is basically just an oversized square neck template that I can draw around and easily cut. I see that I can get two out of this one bit of wood, so I can start cutting. Originally, I'd cut my necks out on my table saw and then route every single side flat and straight. This is extremely time consuming and because this time I'm trying to build four necks at once, I want to do this procedure with one template that will be made out of plywood or MDF so that I can use a route of it with a bearing to simply route around it and cut out all of my necks to the right size. So here are the processes I did use to build my old necks that I'm going to use to build my new master template. This is a triangle jig which tapers the side of the fret. There, the neck. No. So, what I've done is take a piece of softwood, it's about three quarters of an inch thick. If it weren't, I would have run it through my table saw, but because my table saw is far too inaccurate, I've used my router table to route off all of the sides flat in accordance to this diagram. The headstock is 85, the nut is 44, and at the neck pocket it's 56 millimetres wide. To get the taper between the nut and the neck pocket, I've got this jig here which is just a triangle box so that I can route the taper onto the neck. Now it's time to test the template out. Oh look, now we've got two. <laughs> Marvellous. Now I can move on to preparing the neck blank before I use this template. We've made an MDF triangle of 17.5 degrees and then placed it on our neck and drew a rough pencil line so we knew where we could rough saw off the headstock. Okay, you take that. Now we've sliced it down. The bit of wood at the moment is 30 millimetres thick. The standard neck the fretboard on is 25 and we're going to make this 20. So what we're going to do is saw it down the line with the bandsaw. The top needs to be perfectly flat so we can stick the fretboard on. And the back needs to be also perfectly flat so we can use it to locate on our jigs to cut things like the headstock angle and anything that goes on top, so whichever way we put our template, we need the flat bit on both sides. What I've done is wedge it up in my router table, so I can mount the face is perfectly flat. So now that the faces of the neck have been routed flat, I can screw on my template, draw around the line, and then cut it out very carefully with my bandsaw. I of course am cutting about 2 mil outside the line here. Here's a quick view of the four necks I'm trying to build all at once. And now that I've roughly sawn out the outline of the necks, it's time to screw the template back on and start routing it. Now what I've done is screw the template back onto the neck, of course on the top where the fretboard will go so there's not going to be any holes in it at the end. And what you'd usually have is a router table with the bearing bit on the bottom because it'd be in an upside down router table and you just run it through on your hands like that. But because I don't have an underside router table, I've just got my standard router table with the bearing in the bottom and I'll just use this with the bearing on the bottom which works exactly the same. So now the neck should be routed to the perfect taper. When I did this in real life, however, it did in fact go completely wrong and the template was rubbish. However, I shan't go into that now. Let's assume that routing the neck shape had worked, so now that it will no longer be in the way, it's time to finish off the headstock. This little triangle jig is used in my router table to route the headstock angles. It's got a slope of 17.5 degrees. This jig must be used to route these little wedges flat before I glue them back onto the guitar neck like I show here. Now we've sliced it down, you can turn it that way and have your... Is it in shot? Wrong. If you glue it on there... It'll be wrong. Oh! <laughs> yeah, don't glue it on like that, glue it on the bottom so it all lines up. And that's about as far as I got. Ta-da! 